Hello, everyone. How's it going? Oh, it was a pretty good day for me today. Um, not too difficult at work. Got a good workout in. We made an interesting soup. My wife and I, mostly my wife, actually 100% my wife, <laughs> um, that we had never tried before is pretty good. Um, but yeah, let me know how your day was. Uh, so for today, um, we are going to make our way to the final city in Johto, which is very exciting. There are a few things to do, but first we're going to scoot over here and we are going to snag another, oops, I went the wrong way. We are gonna snag another haircut for our boy Lucius because there was an interesting development that I discovered yesterday when I gave Lucius a haircut off stream. So here we have the younger and less expensive of the haircut brothers. So we'll give Lucius another cut. Looks a little happier, perfect, but um, if you notice, I was standing in front of that house over there. And I'm gonna pop back over here. Let's get on the bike. We haven't ridden the bike in forever. I always just kind of speed up and walk, but I never get on the bike. Enjoy this music. It's great. All right, so let's go back to here. So we have this woman here. And last time, she told us, it's friendly toward you, it looks sort of happy. But now, she is going to tell us that Lucius, she gets the feeling that it really trusts us, which means we are close to evolving. Um, that means our happiness level has gotten above 200. Uh, when she says that. Now, to evolve, that doesn't mean Lucius is, like, about to evolve. To evolve, um, your Pokemon needs a happiness level of 220, according to this website that I looked up. Um, so, I'm gonna buy one more little vitamin here. I'll give that to, um, good old Lucius. Went with the calcium. I didn't really know what to go with. I think we've given Lucius just about one of every kind at this point. Um, so, I might want to drop some things in the PC here, right across the street from the Mart. Um, so yeah, Lucius is getting close to evolving. There was something that I... Oops, that's the wrong one. There was something that I wanted to do tonight on tonight's stream but i don't think we're gonna be able to do it which is annoying because it has to be b during the day and i feel like that is something that we have run into a lot in our playthrough is that we are kind of thwarted by something that has to be during the day and i just want to say if any of you are thinking of playing gold silver or crystal The time-based stuff won't be that big of an issue. It's more of an issue for us because I can only stream at certain times. So really my goal is um, the couple of things that I wanted to do um, during the day. Also, hold on, I'll get to it in a second. A couple of things I wanted to do during the day were um, that we'll just do on Saturday, I'm thinking. Because I'm thinking we'll stream at some time during the day Saturday. So we'll be able to do it then. But fun fact here, you can fly to the Lake of Rage. And I think the reason you can do that is because the Lake of Rage was supposed to be its own town with a gym. Pretty cool little factoid. Um, but yeah, it was supposed to have its own gym. And then I think they just decided to make it like a cool little special area. Um, and you catch the Red Gyarados there. Lake of Rage is awesome. Oh, yeah. So now that the rockets are out of here, we have this lady that sells stuff. What does she sell? She sells the Rage candy bars that we talked about. We can get some more Great Balls, Hyper Potions. Um, just like a, a little Mart situation. She doesn't have a ton because it's just like a, 
I guess, a knockoff shop. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a cute little detail that once you beat the rockets, you get access to a little mart in Mahogany Town. There's that track again, homies. Um, okay, so let's do a little team recap. We've got Lucius the Eevee, hopefully soon to be an Espeon, uh, rocking that Shadow Ball. Uh, Rupert Grunt, we gave him the Amulet Coin instead of the Black Belt. We still have the Black Belt around in case we want it. We've got Margot the Dunspar. She's amazing, always great. We'll see if we can upgrade her moveset a little bit as we go along. I mean, she's still doing putting in work. Sin, uh, Sinaiquil here got a major level up with the Flame Wheel move. Um, once Sinaiquil evolves, we're going to be able to level up his moveset even more. It's going to be awesome. Um, we've got Pampras the Lapras. Just learned Perished Song. That move that move's probably going to come in handy. I also looked this up. At level 36, our friend Pampras here is going to get a great move. Probably the best move in the game. Many of you will know what I'm talking about. And we got our flyer, Pogo the Hoot Hoot. So my plan here, on this route, we have some trainers. Like, we have this guy. Um, I'm going to try to skip him and succeed. There's an item there, but we'll come back for it. Because we are going to come back to this place a little later. There's a fisherman right here. And a guy spinning around. Um, there's a couple trainers down below this little uh, lake that we see. But the reason I want to skip them is that I want them to be around for our last team member to fight. Because our last team member is going to need to catch up on levels just a little bit. Um, and again, catching our last team member is something that I was hoping to do um, in the stream tonight. But it's just going to end up being something that we do in um, Saturday's stream, hopefully. Because it's a lot like the Smeargle situation. You can catch a Smeargle at night in gold and silver, but in crystal you can't. It's very silly. But it is what it is. Bada bing, bada boom. What you gonna do? All right, so Route 44, Ice Path ahead. Now, in this is, this is one of my favorite differences in crystal. In Gold and Silver, Ice Path is a kind of normal looking cave. It's a little bit blue, but it's basically a normal looking cave. But in Crystal... Look at this baby. Ooh, good music too. Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, but this right here, this that we just walked into, this is an ice cave right here. This is an ice cave. It was just a cave, now it's an ice cave. And as you'll see, we are slipping around on the ice, and that's kind of like the big thing here. Um, as we go through, we should be able to get, go through pretty quickly. I know my way around here pretty well, um, but this is kind of like designed to be one of the later game dungeons. Mm. Oh, this is actually also pretty cool. Um, here in Crystal, this might take me a few tries. Because we have these boulders here that are block that you can use to block your way. And you use them to get to, yes, this little landing here. So I was able to do that. Um, this is actually the place where you can catch Sneasel like I talked about last stream. And you can catch Sneasel only at night in Pokemon Crystal here. Um, but in Gold and Silver, you don't encounter Sneasel till way later. So you can actually use Sneasel on a playthrough here, which is awesome. Um, something that we're not gonna use and something that um, we'll, I will use next time. How about that? So here, we have this item. In the remake of this game, they really go out of their way to tell you this item is here because it's a very important item, and it's just a random one on the ground. It is HM07. Um, this is the HM for the move Waterfall, and you really need Waterfall to progress through the game. Um, we're not going to teach it to any of our Pokémon yet, 
Um, but it's very, very important. So that kind of gets us through the first part of Ice Path here. Let's see if we can find a Sneasel. Um, oh! <laughs> here he is, folks! Delibird, or Delibird? Like, Delivered? It's basically a Santa Claus Pokemon. Um, it's very gimmicky. Let me show you. The only thing that it does, the only move that it knows naturally is a move called Present, which... Oh, it flinched. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Is a move called Present that I want to show you. Because... You're worthless, Deli Bird. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just want to show you, I mean, I guess I am lowering its accuracy. Um, I'm just going to run. So, Delibird, it only learns the move present. You can teach it TMs, but the only move that it learns is present. And it is a move that can either hurt you or heal you in random amounts. So it's a very bad Pokemon. <laughs> um, kind of famously so. But you can catch it in the ice path. It's a, it's just a fun little addition. And I mean, it is a, it is a Pokemon that has a lot of personality. A very, like I said, it's a Santa Claus Pokemon. Um, okay, I'm not gonna worry too much, um, because we do see Sneasel with our rival. So you know, if I run around here enough times at night, we'll see a Sneasel. But we won't worry about that too much now. So here is the second leg of ice path here you have to move these strength boulders into these holes in the ground. And this will look very familiar to our fans of the Pokemon Yellow stream that we did. Let's see. And I know this puzzle pretty well as well. So the one thing that you don't want to do is you always want to make sure you're not going to back it into a corner. So I do not want to do that. I want to go over here because you're never going to be able to get the rock out of the corner because you got to push it. And that's the key to the strength puzzles. This is big brain stuff, kids. Um, all right, so we'll knock this down here. Perfect. So that boulder fell through. And then we got to go over here. Ba -da 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 -da. This is a great track too, man. These games are just so full of legendary tracks. Um, and I love showing this off to people, uh, just the ice path here. I love this area. It's There aren't any trainers in here. It's just a cool little dungeon um, that just serves as a nice little, a nice little puzzle test to get you to the last town of Johto, which is really cool. All right, the boulder fell through. Wonderful. And we have one more up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to push it out this way so we can still push it up. And then we gotta push it over here. There's probably another way to do this. Let's get that rappel going again. There might be another, like, correct way to do this, but, uh... I'm doing it my way. All right. So when we do that, the boulder fell through. And when we go down here, it would be impossible to get to the little island in the center without the help of the boulders. You see that little ladder? We got to get to that ladder. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to snag this item. Ba ba -da -da -da. So what we can do is, I believe if I do this, it'll take us to the right spot. So we hit this boulder, hit that boulder, hit that boulder, hit that boulder, and now we're in the middle. Well, we're little puzzle solvers. Uh, there's a full heal, love to see it. All right, so as we go, that's kind of that leg. Here's a rock, oh, we actually know Rock Smash, this is nice. Hello, absolutely, I want to smash that rock. Let's do it. A lot of times I don't have a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash because it's not a move that you need to learn to progress in this game. It is just a move that you can learn. So that's Mido. All right. 
now we have another ladder here. And a lot of a lot of this is kind of grabbing items. There we go. Hit that rock, grab that item here. I don't remember what this item is. Let's see. TM44. It is rest! Oh, that's actually a really good move. You sleep for two turns, but you completely recover, um, if you're unfamiliar. Uh, let's see. Snorlax is famous for using the, using the move rest. I mean, he is just absolutely giddy over the move rest, is Snorlax. Um, Alright, so... As we go here, let me go up here, and then we'll slide down to this little island. I want to show you my shirt. It's another one of my fun little shirts. This is the Iron Dragon at Cedar Point. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Cedar, I wanted to show you because I'm going to put on a jacket. Because <laughs> I'm a little chilly. Um, Cedar Point is an amusement park in Ohio. It's in Sandusky, Ohio, and I grew up going there all the time. It's on like a little peninsula in Peninsula, Peninsula, in Lake Erie. And it's so, so cool. When you drive up there, you kind of drive out on this little road and it's, it looks kind of like this magical island of adventure. Um, and it's got some of the biggest roller coasters in the world. It had the biggest in the world for a little bit. Um, and Iron Dragon is a classic coaster. Um, from Cedar Point. And there's this... Oh, I found a hidden item! How about that? Hooray! Um, so, Cedar Point is known as probably, like, the best place in the world for roller coasters. Like, literally. Um, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, there's an iron. Let's give that to Lucius. But, um... The Iron Dragon is, is an older ride, and there's this t-shirt company that made, like, a bunch of, like, old-school logos, or shirts that had old-school logos of the Cedar Point rides. And I got the Iron Dragon one. It's awesome. Uh, they had one for the Raptor. One of the best rides ever made, it's pretty much considered, is the Millennium Force in Cedar Point. Um, it's one of my favorites. I'm very afraid of roller coasters, but I do still like them. It's a very love-hate relationship <laughs> I have with them. Um, but the Millennium Force is amazing. It came out in the year 2000. Um, and I remember when it came out, people lined up for like three or four hours to ride the Millennium Force. And it was incredible. One of the big rides that... Uh, Cedar Point had where it was the top thrill dragster and that was actually the tallest roller coaster in the world for a little while um, But they closed it down I think in 2019, but they're actually reopening it. They're calling it top thrill 2, which is interesting I probably won't ride it, it looks too scary, but um, It looks really great. So if you are any roller coaster enthusiasts out there and It's not terribly cumbersome to get to Ohio in the United States Go to Cedar Point. You will not be disappointed. You will not be Cedar disappointed. That didn't work. So, we're out of Ice Path! Hooray! Ooh. Oh yeah, this is the Azalea Town music. So we have made it to Blackthorn City. Mmm. Love Blackthorn City. This lady gives you a little pat on the back. Wow, you came through the Ice Path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. That's right, baby. That's right. Maybe we'll go on a date. Huh? Um, so I think this person is famous for wanting a terrible trade. She wants a Dragonair. <laughs> a female Dragonair, specifically. It's a very rare Pokemon, and you can get Dratini at the game corner for a lot of coins. But she wants to trade you for a Do- oh, a Dodrio! I thought it was something different. Oh. I mean, Dodrio is good, but Doduo is a Pokemon that we're gonna be able to find in not too much longer. So it's not a very good value proposition. I'm um, so sorry. I don't want to trade. I'm so very sorry. Uh, but here we are in Blackthorn City. This might be kind of like the city plaque. Blackthorn City. A quiet mountain retreat. Yes. Um, it's very cool. Uh, we don't need to heal the squad. I am going to sell a couple of those max potions that I picked up. Because max potion 
Um, it's different than a full restore. A full restore fully heals your HP and any statuses you might have. A max potion just heals um, your HP all the way. But the reason that we're selling those is the hyper potions here heal HP by 200. And if you look at our squad, nobody is really even close to 200 HP. I mean, I mean, Pampras is at 127, and Pampras has a lot of HP, so we're very far away from a max potion really even being useful, so we'll take the money. At least that's what I usually do. Uh, ooh, but I do want to buy a few Ultra Balls, because that will help us catch... Oops, I actually don't have that much money. Oh, what we're going to do now is I want to buy some more Ultra Balls. So I am going to actually fly back home real quick. As you can see, we are in Blackthorn City, and it's actually just north of New Barktown. There's that long route there, but it's actually sneaky close to New Barktown. You'll love to see it. All right. So we'll pop it. What up, JJ Bean? Good to see you. Um, all right, so our mommy has money. Let's get some money. Ooh, I can get Perfect. All right, so we are going to fly back to Blackthorn City because we're going to pick up a few more of these here Ultra Balls. I'm going to get 10, basically. There we go. Uh, I'll pick up a couple Hypers. Awesome. Okay, so Blackthorn City is known as being a kind of like a mountain town. Um, so here we have Route 45. The Pokemon that we want to catch next for our team can be found in that grass and on this route, but we're not going to go there quite yet. There's a lot of trainers down there, and we want to catch our squad member before we start battling a bunch of trainers. But, as you can see here, there is a world, I think, where you can get to Blackthorn City before you defeat Team Rocket. If that's the case, this guy will be standing in front of the gym, which is whatever. Um, what does he even say? Claire, our gym leader, is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. So, Blackthorn City Pokemon Gym Leader Claire, the blessed user of Dragon Pokemon. So the last gym in Johto um, uses Dragon Pokemon, which is super cool. Um, it was a big deal in the Elite Four in Yellow. Oh, how many gyms are there in this game? There are eight in the Johto region, like there are eight in the Kanto region. Um, but there are more than meets the eye. Um, if you've never played this game before, I don't want to give it away. But those of you who have played this game before, of course you know. But in Johto, there are eight. That's what I will say. Um, but so, Claire uses Dragon-type Pokemon, and I'll give you a little preview of her gym. This is super cool with the lava in here. I'm not going to fight that guy quite yet. Um, there is, oh well, I certainly have never played this game before. Well, you are in for surprises, my friend. Um, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, let's see. Let's go. I had something else planned, like I said, but we are going to do something else. Oh my gosh! Um, I have right here... Yay! Hooray! I wanted to mention, someone donated on my little donation link that I have on Twitch. That is so nice! Holy crap, that's nice. That's so amazing. I just want to shout you out. I'm not going to say your real name. I think I know who it is on our stream. Because, um, you know, I don't want to give personal information, blah, blah, blah. But, yay, money! That's exactly right. But thank you so, 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 so much for doing that. I literally started doing this because I love these video games. That's it. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show them to people who love them too or who wanted to see some older games so um that's so so nice and so so cool 
Um, so, enough of that. If you recall, we got the item called the Clear Bell from the director. Excuse me. At the uh, radio tower. So, he's talking about going to the Tin Tower. And if we do this, let me see here. Um, yeah, we'll have Lucius in the front. I like that. Great. So we can get to the Tin Tower through here. Oh, you hope it keeps being fun and meaningful for me. I hope so too. Thank you so much for that. I, I really, really love doing it. And I hope you all like it too. So this guy. A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah, the sound of that clear bell. It, it's the blime. I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is indicative of the bearer's soul. You, you may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please do go on. Wow, how fun. So, um, <laughs> it's Voldy again. <laughs> yeah, these sages really do look like Voldemort. Look at that guy. Wanna... Send him back to Hogwarts. <laughs> um, let's see. So, we go through here, and as you can see, <gasps> there's three more Voldemorts in our way. Oh no! All right, but we're gonna pop in here and we are going to battle them. Yeah, that's the very kind of like traditional Japanese type music. Okay, legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth to put that trainer to test at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your worthiness to go inside. This is sick. I love this. Um, the wise trio, come on. It's wonderful. Um, so you have these three sages that kind of, like, test you before you battle and try to catch Suicune. Um. So, all of these guys have a knockdown and... Ooh, I was about to say that had to have been a critical hit. Um, all, all three of these guys have a knockdown and... Ooh, he's bite. Ooh. He's faster now. That's crazy. Um, they have knocked out. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. And a evolution. Um, yeah, that's something that kind of like the trainers of Ecrutique City kind of like use consistently is the evolutions. Like the Kimono Girls use them and the Sages use them. They're kind of like sacred Pokemon a little bit, um, which is cool. I like that a lot. And a lot of people theorize that they are the Pokemon that died and were resurrected to become Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Which is real neat. Um, I'm gonna wake you up because I hate being asleep. There we go. Yeah, and this Noctowl, even though that was a critical hurt, um, this Noctowl only has Peck, so he's not really doing too much damage to us. And we can finish... Quick Attack is great for that. That's why I always like to carry Quick Attack when Pokemon learn it. Perfect for some IQL. Love to see it. And this one's got the Flareon. Um, here... Way to be prepared. Hey, I try to be. Thank you so much. Uh, Pampers should take care of this Flareon real quick. With our Surf. Um, so yeah. This is the portion of the game where you can battle and catch Suicune. Now, Suicune is the Pokemon that's on the box of this game. And so that's really cool. Ooh, it was not a one-hit KO. And now you're going to try to troll me with some sand attacks. Let's see if it works. It did not. Try again next time, Flareon. Um, but, again, like um, Gold and Silver before it, you do not have to fight the last, um, the last, the box legendary. It, this is, this is 
um, optional fighting Suicune. But it's a, just a really cool thing that you can still do. And that's something that this game does really well, is that it really is kind of like a more pure RPG than other Pokemon games are, if that makes any sense, to where you can really kind of like do a lot of optional things and um, kind of take your own path in a way. Let's see what he says. Ah, so it is you who claim to have seen Suicune, Dante, and Raikou. I have, sir. While they slept? Unbelievable! Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. And you gotta fight these three guys in a row. Can you be trusted with the truth? It, I must ascertain your worthiness. Once again, he's trying to... Everyone wants to prove how worthy you are. Oh, if you like the hard thing about streaming is that you always have to remember what you said seven seconds ago. Because <laughs> there's a delay to the chat getting to you. Yeah, that's pretty much true. I lose my train of thought all the time. And I do that in my real life, so... Um, doing it online is just another, another version of that. So interesting, we see Foresight here. Um, that's not a move that's really useful for Knockdown. Foresight would be good if it was trying to hit a ghost-type move, or a ghost Pokemon with a normal-type move. Um, and something that we can't do, I've, I usually use Shadow Ball because it's my most powerful move. But hello, Loctess, hello. Good to see you. I usually use Shadow Ball, but Noctowl's part normal. Ooh, how far are we today? Um, we are fighting the Wise Trio. We are at the Tin Tower, and we're going to try to catch Suicune in this stream. Because our last team member, we were going to try to catch today, but you can only catch during the day. So we'll probably do that Saturday. Um, and this Noctowl has... Oh, baby. Uh, the, this Noctowl has a Reflect Up. I'm going to use a full heal on Lucius because I never want Lucius to be hurting. But I will switch him out for... We'll do Sinaiquil again because of that Reflect. Um, but something else that I outlined for you folks just joining us, um, our Eevee should be... <laughs> we also talked to a monk. That's exactly right. Um, our Eevee should be pretty close to evolving. I don't know if it will evolve this stream. Um, we're gonna save it because I want an Espeon. I want an Espeon. I know people love Umbreon. Um, and you know, if we let Lucius evolve during this stream, it would become an Umbreon. Which is sick, but I don't want that. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're gonna use Rupert here. We'll get that extra money. And Rupert's still at level 30. Alrighty. Yeah, Jolteon's still rocking the Thundershock. Doesn't have any crazy powerful moves yet. No Thunderbolt, no Thunder. We should be able to take make pretty quick work. There we go. Good work, Rupert. There we go. And then this last Sage fight, we can begin with... Um, Lucius, I will tell you the truth. SCG got 2,048 Poke Yen for winning. Oh, send some to mom, hooray. In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, which uh, where Pokemon were said to rest. Interesting. The view from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. At the time, an immense silver-colored Pokemon was said to roost to make its roost atop the brass tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers, the brass tower. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze, and that is how the burned tower came to be. What a nice little bit of lore. You love to see it. And again, you can skip this. You wouldn't know that. It's pretty cool. Let me see your power. Wow, the last sage is really to the point. We got Sage Koji here. And he once again begins with the classic Knocked Owl. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and switch Lucius out here now. I don't want him falling asleep. We'll get Margo in. Margo's got to be putting in her work. 
Um, something Foresight can also do, it can let a fighting type Pokemon hit Ghost as well. I, I know the Machop line learns Foresight, um, which is very useful for them. But it's a pretty niche move. It's one of those moves that you're just not going to use very often. Especially if you have a well-rounded team. Even though we had a lot of trouble... Not trouble, but our normal squad, I remember, couldn't hit a lot of Morty's team <laughs> when we fought him. And we had to kind of go back to the drawing board, which was fun. Um, Alright, and then he finally has a Vaporeon. So, for Vaporeon, I will go into Rupert Grunt again. Get that little bit of extra money. I love Vaporeon Sprite in this game. It's so, like, sleek and elegant and, like, action-y. Uh, I really miss Sprite artworks. I know it's really cool that they have, like, home console Pokemon games now. They're all in 3D, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I really, really enjoy the Sprite artwork. And, you know, part of it's because I grew up with it, but I think... When they, they have, like, the still drawings like this, it, it they can create a lot of personality for the Pokemon. I don't know. I just think it's neat. There we go. Let's see if Lucius is ready to evolve. Not quite. Okay. You... Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon I see? We, the wise trio, have been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passage only to those people who possess the power and soul of truth. Please, do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. Wonderful. And then you have this cool little secret route. Like, behind Ecruteak City, and there is that big, tall tin tower. You literally can't even see the top of it from here. Um, what does this say? Tin Tower. A legendary Pokemon is said to roost here. And there is another legendary Pokemon that's not just Suicune. But for now, we are going to put in Margo, because we are going to put uh, paralyze this bad boy. And now Suicune is really tough to catch. Um, I have had trouble catching it before, and I'll save for a third time just because I'm anxious. So this is, this is pretty cool. This track is great. I like don't want to talk over it. Mm. Uh, uh, when you run into Entei or Raiko, it'll also play this music. Oh, this music is so good. Um, so here is Suicune. Uh, Suicune is awesome. It is elegant. It is wonderful. It's a beautiful Pokemon. And it is a pure... Sorry, <laughs> I keep getting interrupted by the music. It is a pure water type Pokemon. It learns some ice moves as well. I think it knows um, something. I was really hoping to get some flinches here um, with the paralysis. Let's see if we can, hopefully. No, not quite. This will knock out Margo. Um, but Suicune is kind of like the, I don't know, it's kind of like the poster child of this legendary trios because it kind of gets this game. Um, but Entei and Raikou are both also super sick. Let's see. So rain continues to fall. So that bubble beam is going to be continue to be an issue. Um, and that's fine. Okay. Oh, that was a critical hit. Good to know. All right. So now Suicune is down about... About as low as we're going to get it. That's why I wanted to buy all those Ultra Balls. We've got 22. Oh, how's Rupert Grunt been doing for us? Oh, Rupert Grunt's been great. Heracross is one of the best Pokemon you can get in this game. Even though he doesn't really learn many same type moves, 
Heracross is still awesome. See, Suicune has a really high catch rate. It's very tough to catch. Um, but uh, Heracross is really, really good. Um, so yeah, Suicune can be very tough to catch. And I'll probably speed through a little bit of this. Even though, ah, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste the music. Um, happy to hear it. He had a lot to live up with that. It's true. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, but uh, what else did I have to say about Sweden? Ah, oh, Gust. This is gonna destroy Rupert. I'm sorry, my boy. That's a double super effective. Hmm. Um, a move that we're probably not going to encounter. I'll just throw Pogo out there. Is there a world where I'm faster? No way. I use Leer, though. I can whittle it down a little more with this tackle. This is going to do, like, one hit point. <laughs> yep. Um, but uh, there is a move in this game that we're not too likely to encounter. I don't remember how you get it. I think some Pokemon learn it. I don't know if there's a TM for it or not. Um, but it is a move called False Swipe. Um, it's not, like, a horribly powerful move. And it is a move that can never knock out a Pokemon. And you might think, Trent, why is that good? How is that even useful? Well, when you're in this situation and you're trying to catch a Pokemon and you don't want to knock it out because if you knock it out, you can't catch it. There you go. Hmm, went low on us there. Got the base involved. Um... So, now we're really just trying to catch Suicune, and I am to the point now where I am not too worried because I'll probably just reset if we don't catch it. One thing that I definitely, I definitely will reset um, if this happens, um, if Lucius gets knocked out, I will reset for sure. And luckily, Suicune's not going to be able to do much to our Pampras here. Because it resists most of Suicune's moves. I think the only attacking moves Suicune has, yeah, at this point, are Bubble Beam and... Yeah! Bubble Beam and Gust, I think, are its only attacking moves. Give me a nickname for Suicune! Suicune's data was newly added to the Pokedex. Let's see. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, always in search of a pure reservoir. Happy dance. That's right. Kuki. I'm naming her. I'm naming Suicune Kuki. I love that. Kuki the Suicune. What a silly little name. Oops, I need two O's. Um, and again, Kuki, uh, Suicune is a Pokemon you can definitely use for your playthrough if you want. Um, oh, this. Oh, you've seen. Yes. And the trio! Awesome! Too awesome even! I've never even... Uh, I've never seen a battle that great! That was truly inspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you were even more incredible, SCG! I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokémon! Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokémon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, SCG! So yeah. Here we are. Now, this is the Tin Tower. You can go up into the Tin Tower and encounter that rainbow-colored Pokemon that he speaks of. Uh, but we're not ready for that yet. Um, and you can use Suicune on your playthrough team if you want. Uh, let me go to Blackthorn. Um, it is at level 40. So it's a little high for this point in the game, but it's not too far off. We're kind of in like the low 30s. Um, and again, I, I like using the legendary Pokemon. I don't so much in this game. Um, there are a lot of other games where it's fun to use the legendary Pokemon. I, but for us, I want to use, um, regular Pokemon. Unless, of course, I change my mind. <laughs> but we're not going to use Suicune on this playthrough. I like having Lapras as our water type. But again, I always want to show you options of things that you can do, because um, there's a lot of a lot of fun things you can do. Um, 
But folks, you know, with that, it's kind of a shorter one tonight, but I'm thinking we'll stop there because there's some more stuff that I want to do um, on Saturday, like I said, catch our next team member of all uh, of all of our Eevee, and we got some good stuff done. We got through Ice Path. We were able to catch Suicune, which was really fun. I, I really enjoyed battling the Wise Trio tonight. Um, but so with that, uh, got to do the daytime thing. It's true. And again, I want to reiterate: if you play this game, you're gonna have far less it's not gonna be as annoying <laughs> the day night thing because i'm just limited to streaming on here with you guys and there was always an option like when i started the game i could have set the time to like a different time so you can play with that if you want you can make it your oyster if you decide to do your playthrough but this is ours and that's that is the glory last thing that is the glory of playing Pokemon games. That's what makes them so replayable, is that you can be like, all right, this time I want to use these Pokemon. Okay, this time I literally just want to use only a Dunsparce the whole time and nothing else. You can do that. It's great. They're so, they're so re-experienceable that way. Um, and like, you know, people make livings streaming Pokemon games like that. Um, and I really, 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 really enjoy them. And I really, really enjoy you if you're watching this. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, like and subscribe. Um, if you're watching it now, all of you fine folks, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I will be back on Saturday. I don't know exactly when, probably later afternoon. Um, and if you're watching this two years from now, it'll be different. <laughs> But uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, kiddos!